How about that for an early Christmas present? The United 6, Leeds 2. Scott McTominay with one of the best central midfield performances that you would have seen in a long, long time. Two goals within five minutes. Game effectively done within the first six minutes. United dominant against a very, very good Bielsa team. Wow. Not many of us would have expected that. Not even in our wildest dreams would we have expected to see that sort of first half performance from United because typically we are shit at the start of games. After the 20 minute mark, we start to get into it and we tail off towards the last 10 minutes. It's a pattern that we've seen, especially at home from United. But to go and do that today against Leeds in that sort of manner, wow, what? A performance that was from United. McTominay with the first two goals. And then Bruno Fernandes cropped up with a just spanking it into the corner. Lindelof, we scored from a set piece. Luckily, Leeds are terrible at defending set pieces, but we score from a set piece. Leeds go and get one back before half time. Then Dan James comes up. McTominay with a wonderful assist. Dan James. It would have meant a lot to him because he was on the verge of signing for Leeds before he joined United, but Dan James getting a goal. And I don't even know what happened after that. I think Leeds scored an absolute banger and then it was sixth. I don't even know who scored the sixth goal. I don't really care who scored the sixth goal. United have just scored six at home in the Premier League in a season where we have been so bad, so bad at home at Old Trafford in the Premier League to go and do that against Leeds, a team, as I said, a very good team. That was sensational. Everybody, to a man, the performance there today was sensational. And I said it in my last video. After the last game, I said, look, the title challenge is on. United have the ability to mount a title challenge this year. Because, you know, it's so crazy. It's between the first and sixth. It, there's, there's just... The, the ability is there for any team to put a run of wins together to mount a title challenge. And today it felt like that mentality had almost switched in these United players. Like, they knew that. They felt that. And they played differently because of it. Fred and McTominay may have played as basically two defensive midfielders, which is what Solskjaer has done a lot of the times and he gets a lot of criticism for. But McTominay and Fred, they had the freedom to go forward today, almost like the shackles were off. Like we weren't trying to hold our shape to try and squeeze leads out of the game. We came in and said, no, fuck this and fuck leads. Sorry for swearing. We're dominating this game. This is United at home. We're, we're playing the game and you can try and cope with our pressing, our style. See if you like it. And Leeds could not cope with it. The game was dead and buried within 20 minutes. And after that, it was just an exhibition. 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. You can have one back. 5-1, 6-1, you can have one back. It didn't matter at that point. United were just going for the jugular. And even at 6-2... Going forward in the 85th minute, Tellez nearly scoring, Cavani nearly scoring, Martial missing two or three guilt edge chances, James getting booked for diving. Hell, it could have finished 11-2, 11-3, 45 shots, 40 plus shots between Leeds and United today. A hell of a spectacle for a neutral, a hell of a spectacle for United fans and Leeds. What a shame you didn't enjoy that, your fans. And to go and do that against Leeds, you know, there's a... There's a long-standing, bitter rivalry there. It's a shame that the fans weren't in the stadium to see that thing because Old Trafford would have been bouncing. But for United to go and do that, as I've said all along this season, we're capable of brilliant performances. Largely, those performances rely on individual moments, whether it comes from Bruno Fernandes, largely comes from Bruno Fernandes or other people. It comes from individual moments. But today, wow, McTominay, brilliant, Rashford, was causing Leeds all sorts of problems. Bruno Fernandes, a goal, two assists, at least an assist anyway. Fred, Hell, Maguire, Lindelof, Shaw was fantastic. Wan Bissaka was even looking a bit expansive. Dan James, Scott McTominay, man of the match, Jesus. That's what I'm saying about it's the difference between an individual performance and it's the difference between a team total performance. And that right there was a total team performance. The, the sorts that we haven't seen in a long time and certainly in a first half and certainly at home, we haven't seen that for a while. But to go and do that to Leeds, and I've watched Leeds quite a few times this season and Leeds just, that hasn't happened to Leeds. 
Leeds have been very good. They're a very consistent team. You, you know the sort of the influence and the impact that Leeds' style will have on you. But United today just not only dampened it, not only muted it, but just tucked it away, put it in the cupboard for 90 minutes and just dominated. I haven't seen United do that in such a long time. And I tell you what, that is a brilliant Christmas present for us all as far as watching United goes because I said the title challenge was on last week when we won because I realised that if United really just packed a few wins together and it's not outside the realms of possibility at that point prior to the Leeds game, then we'll be right up there in with the chance of doing it. Spurs being beaten by Leicester today. Who do we play next? I think we play next anyway. Boxing Day, Leicester. Go and beat them, win our game in hand. We're second behind the Scousers. And who do we play in a few weeks' time at Anfield? Liverpool. That is going to be a hell of a game because United, if you can't take confidence from that game and that performance and that total domination that we have for 90 minutes, then what are you doing? But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he made decisions today. He started Dan James. Dan James scored. He started, he started Scott McTominay. Scott McTominay got two. Man of the match. Outstanding from McTominay. One of the best central midfield performances you are likely to see in the Premier League this season. And that is not, without, that is not exaggerating at all. Just the confidence of the movement, the footwork on the second goal. The first goal was a great finish, but the footwork on the second. Oh, C'est magnifique. United today were something that I did not think we were capable of doing. And to see United score six against a team at Old Trafford, to see United do that to a team at Old Trafford of, of Leeds' ability with a manager like Bielsa, to go and do that, wow. That has to be considered a statement. That's a real statement performance from United in the Premier League. Let's see what happens next and whether we can follow it up. But after the disappointment of Leipzig, to go and, and recover like we have done, bring it on. Let's see what happens next. We've got Leicester. Who was your man of the match? Anybody who says, who says anything apart from Scott McTominay. I'm completely disagreeing with you, but you, you might. There was lots of good performances today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But 6-2 against Leeds at home in the Premier League. Tune it up within five minutes. Man, I wish we could do that every week. That was a hell of a game to watch.